Okay, hello campers. Um, so today for camp, I'm going to lead you through how to make a double batch of chocolate chip cookies. So um, what I'll do is I'm gonna post the recipe um, on the video, but I'm also just gonna walk you through it with each step and tell you how much I put in. So this is for a double batch, just so you know. So if you wanted to only make a single, just cut what I'm making in half, have your mom help you with the math, practice your math skills a little bit, but um, we'll get started. Okay, so the first step of um, our chocolate chip cookie on the recipe I have, this is a family recipe, so um, is two thirds a cup of butter. So I have some uh, stick butter and this full one is half a cup. So I'm gonna put one full one of these into my Mix. mixing bowl, I think what you'd call it so I have one of those and then with my other one I'm gonna cut one third and put that in there too mm. next next we're gonna put one cup of white sugar into our cookie mix the next thing you're gonna need is a half a cup of brown sugar so once you have your brown sugar, white sugar, and butter in, you're going to lightly mix your lightly, three ingredients. So like on three? So after you have uh, mixed in your couple of ingredients so far, the three ingredients, mixed them around a bit. Next, we are going to add two eggs. So first off, what I would recommend is cleaning up your area a little bit, getting, um, putting away the couple things you just mixed in so that you have a clean area to put the next part in. Next, we're putting in two eggs. This is the next part of our thing. So there's one egg, and now we'll put our second egg in. So while making the video, I noticed that I had forgotten a step. So next, add two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, so after doing this for a bit, we're now going to uh, put in our next ingredients. The next thing we're going to include is two cups of flour. Can I have a knife, please? So Carson's using this knife to get the right amount in. So that's one cup, and then he'll put a second one in. So one thing to note was that after we added the each cup of flour, I uh, blended, I didn't show it, but I blended it all together a little bit after each cup just so that it um, was easier to mix. Next, after doing that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. So I have my baking soda here, one teaspoon going in. And next, we'll put one teaspoon of salt also. After adding those last couple ingredients, uh, you wanna blend it well and make sure all your ingredients are mixed together. Make sure you have your, uh, somebody that's older helping you with the blending part because uh, you wanna make sure you're doing it safely. Good. Okay. So as you can see, um, our cookie mix looks pretty blended pretty good. So um, we're almost done. We're just gonna add the chocolate chips next. Okay, so now that we have mixed our uh, cookies good, the last step is to add chocolate chips. So the way we do it is we don't measure out any chocolate chips. You just add until you feel like there's enough. So usually we have lots of chocolate chips in ours. You guys can decide how many you want to put in there, but yeah, add your chocolate chips. As you add your chocolate chips, make sure you're mixing them around. Okay, some more on. We, as you can see, always add extra chocolate chips because we like them chocolatey. Okay. 
So once you're done mixing, your next step is going to be putting them in the oven. So we preheat our oven to 325. So I just turned that on and I'm just getting out my uh, pans right now and making sure that it tastes good. It does. Okay, so as you can see, I do about a spoonful, like I said, onto here. So I do about three by four, maybe put a little bit more on that one, three by four on, a, on this pan, as you can see, three by four, show the whole pan. There you go, Carson. So, um, yeah, just take and put your spoonful, get them on there. This was, baking cookies is something our family did a lot over quarantine while we were stuck inside. It was a fun activity for us to do. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it like we do. Usually we have some music blaring and dancing around a little bit. Uh, once our oven preheats, then we'll throw these in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes, but usually around the eight minute mark, you check them and it takes a little bit longer. So it's something to watch once you hit around that eight to 10 minutes. Um, once I put them in, I'll let you know. I have my cookies in the oven, as you can see. My timer is on, and I'm going to make my next batch on my other pan now. So my timer just went off, so I came to check my cookies quick, and it looks like they're almost done. The back ones are starting to turn, turn a little brown. That's how I usually can tell when my cookies are done, is when the corners around the cookies begin to turn a brownish color. So these ones are almost ready to be taken out. What I might do though, is flip the pan around because sometimes that helps to cook these front ones if they don't always cook even evenly. Okay, so as you can see, my cookies are done. When you take them off, I have this set up here for putting them on. When you take them off, make sure that you have your glove on this side so that you don't burn your hand. And just be very gentle going underneath it. Just like that. Okay, campers, so I've finally finished baking all my cookies. I was able to make three dozen cookies. How many cookies are in three dozen? Does anybody know the answer to that? Let me know if you do. Comment on this video. How many cookies are in three dozen? So now that we've finished baking, there's only one thing left to do. Dishes. Ugh. Maybe. What about eating them? eating them too. Carson's right. But that part, we can do that part, I think. That comes before the dishes, right? Yeah. Maybe if we really beg mom and bring a cookie out to her, maybe she'll do them for us. Fingers crossed. See you guys next time. Bye. Hope you guys enjoy.